Okay. Okay. Any questions on the mechanism? Do you want me to go over them? Up to you guys. See some yeses or some no. We did not finish the handout. We still have two pages of practice problems. Okay, and here's the other portion and more mechanisms in there. So you guys are gonna get all of this in the answer key. But let's start with the mechanism, sorry, with the reactions. Let's do the same thing as last time. Who wants to go first? You don't have to show me the mechanism, just show me shortcut product, okay. Go for it. Oh, so it does open the reaction. Yes, okay. because remember, the just which chapter 17 is that we have leaving groups. Okay, and we're doing the second one as well. Wait, can you zoom out? I, I didn't even see the, the... Can you zoom out a little bit, please? Just so I can see the, the initial. There we go. Okay, let's do the next one. And great job. What's the name of that reaction? It's one of the few reactions that we need to know the name of. That's the general name of the reactions in this chapter. Again, general name, that specific reaction. Which one? It's close, it's one of those. Grand esterification. We're going from one type of ester to another type of ester, but still, great job. It's, it's still an ester. Now you get to choose a volunteer, anyone you want. Well, the, first one. the first one is not an ester, it's an amide. Oh, that reaction doesn't have a specific name. No. In my education. I mean, who knows? <laughs> Is this one on Fisher because you have the H plus? No. What about Fisher certification? We start with what kind of. We end up with an ester, but we start with a carboxylic acid. You can do the mechanism if you want. No worry. The oxygen and the carbonyl, yes. No, no, no. Your acid has to do that. Because remember, the only reason why you're doing that is because you have an acid as a catalyst. The first step is just to make the electrophile, there you go, more electrophilic. H and positive charge, and now you can proceed with your reaction. Mm -hmm. And then you kick it up. Positive and oh, and then. There you go. What else happened? I can give it to the NH2, yeah. Well, 
what's your leaving group in this case? The water or the nitrogen? So but you're just out of the water. water. So by mm -hmm. that there is a gas. You start with the nitrogen. So that means that's your leaving group. So remember, you have to reform the carbonyl. Where was the carbonyl? That's not the carbonyl. That was your carbonyl. So electrons in that oxygen go back down to reform it. There you go. And now you kick it out. So far you're good. We have that oxygen from the nucleophilic attack. It's really into a perfect circle. But yeah. <laughs> If that oxygen is on its own, it's gonna have a negative charge. Remember, we want something that's neutral. How many hydrogens does that oxygen have? It had two. Okay, so so far we haven't touched the hydrogens. So that hydrogen has, sorry, that oxygen has two hydrogens. The one in the carbonyl still has one. You just kicked off the NH2. Mm -hmm. How do you get rid of a hydrogen? What kind of reaction are you going to do? Acid base. There you go. The base. base. Mm -hmm. It can be water, yeah. Water is both an acid or a base. There you go. That's the final answer. Oh, when it's in equilibrium, because then you have the hydronium ion. Mm -hmm. so okay. So where's the hydronium process? Yes, you can do the next one. Where's the hydronium It can do multiple things. So, yeah. What's the name of that initial molecule? What's the name of the functional group? Be your acid and hydride. Remember, you have to remember those names. So yeah. hydride is the suffix. So acetic is specifically the two carbons on each carbonyl. Like for this one right here, right? Is it no, it's the it's your alpha um, hydrogens. Those are going to be very acidic. And we're going to see actually that more in chapter 18. Yeah. OK, so sodium goes away. You're left with your active base. What is the base going to attack? What's the role of the base? It makes the nucleophile more nucleophilic. So we deprotonate our nucleophile. Mm -hmm. Now we have a negative charge, and now we can proceed with a normal reaction. So we attack either of those carbonyls.
Oh, minor? Mm -hmm. Oxygen. There you go. Okay, that's your intermediate. So first go back down to reform the carbonyl and then what are you gonna kick out? There you go, yeah. So what's gonna be the main product and the byproduct? There you go, that's your main product. And then your byproduct, the leaving group. Remember, we want everything to be neutral. So for the main product, is the name of it methyl ester benzene? It would be, I have to write it down. Oh, you're right. There's a carbon, right? Yeah. yeah. So, your... so it should be benzyl, methyl, methane, methane, oh, wait. That's the name of that. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then that oxygen with a negative charge needs to gain a hydrogen to be neutral. It can be from another one of the reagents, yeah. Pretty much anything that's available is going to do it. It can also pick up the sodium, yeah, and you form an ionic bond, which is okay as well. So you can just add a sodium plus and automatically they just go together. There you go, that's it. Yeah, just leave it as it is, that's good. Okay, questions on that one. Okay, Emily, you got to pick a volunteer. Yeah. No, because the NaOH, again, is a cyanic bond and you're left with the base. Base, negative charge, they are not really going to do anything. The product or the initial molecule? This one. The name of that one. That's a thiol group. So then, very reactive. So this right, comes in here. Mm -hmm. Right, is that it? Yes, you're good. Yeah. You're kind of like tailing that carbon that's connected to the oxygen and sulfur. 
keep the same carbon skeleton. Just change that sp2 configuration of the carbonyl to sp3. Yes, oxygen minus, and then what about the chlorine? Where is it? It's gone. Not yet. No, oh, because if you kick it out, that means you have to reform. There you go. So now what happens? I see. Okay, so in this case, it's uh, How does it get kicked out? Beautiful. You got it. That's your benzene. Carbonyl and the sulfur group. There you go. Yes, all of them are nucleophilic acyl additions. Okay, choose your volunteer one, anyone you want. No, just show me the product. If you want, you can show me the mechanism, which is great. But if you don't want to, that's okay. Mm -hmm. It starts in the shape. He went to tutoring. That's how. What? No, it starts in the shape. And you're missing a little benzene. And there you go. Great job, Jimena. You got it. Now we edit the benzene. Okay, Jimena, choose your volunteer. Anyone you want. <laughs> Just anyone you want. Yeah. It can be your friends on the left side too. It's it's starting to click a little better now because we got these electrons coming here. Right. Mm -hmm. No, but the HCL protein the oxygen in the carbonyl, yes. Mechanism wise, yes. That's gonna be the very first step. But, but afterwards, like you are gonna do that nucleophilic attack that you just showed me. So you're good. Yeah, but it was so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> Hold the shape. I just draw them. I don't, it's too long for me. There you go. A really pretty one. Um, <laughs> what do you call it? That one? I mean, all this one is like last card, you know, change one side after the other one, so it's just, no, all right. Like Beautiful. You got it. What was the shortcut for this chapter? You caught off the leg, your amputations. Now you can do the mechanism, whichever one, it's okay. As long as you get the answer, you're good. Nobody wants to do it. I'll just kind of go down the list. Then. I need to practice anyways. I'll do it. I mean, no, no, no one else? else? Okay. <laughs> I mean, at the end, it's actually helping more the ones that volunteer. 
the ones that volunteer at the end, you guys are pretty good. Very good. If a moment you call me, then I'm going to go. Mom's spaghetti. And great job. Just add those ones in there. And there you go. Simple as that. Great job. Choose your volunteer. Or bring it back to Juan. One of those. Hey, you do it there. You to There you go, great job. Just add a little hydrogen with a nitrogen. There you go, you're good. Okay, pass it around. They're really afraid of We're that. just circling back at this point. Give it a try. And great job, you got it. Yeah. Remember, you're just cutting that, leaving you from carbonyl to whatever header atom you have. That's the only little correction, but still, you got the product. What's the name of that product, functional gear boy? Thio ester. There you go. That's it. You have to know those names. That's a thiol group. It's a nucleophile, so it can act as a base. Okay. Want to do the next one or do you want to pass it around? Okay, we're just passing it around. That's okay. But still, great job. Pass it to anyone you want. Just give them the iPhone. I think you also do like a ring close, right? Huh? Like two. Okay. Oh, yeah, did you say that? Okay. So then the other one is just. I mean, in this case, either way, you're open it up, even if you don't have an ass. But maybe he was talking about making lactones, lactams. <laughs> like, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> Okay. Um. And and. Oh, you the white part. Everything is going to be in the same molecule, because you start with something that's cyclic, which means that it's breaking open. And that nitrogen or your whatever leaving group you have oh, you is hanging up with it. It's still gonna be on the other end. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so then it's it just right. There you go. That's it. Carbon. For me, oh, one, two, three. One, two, yeah, one little carbon. 
now or dear NH2. And great job. Okay. Okay, we're just doing. And this is going to be an anhydride? This one, yes. Great job, simple as that. No, so whether you have either an acid or a base, he's basically just testing you on the mechanism. In this case, would the HCl protonate either oxygen? No, it's going to be the one on the left because that's the electrophile. The other one is acting as the yeah, nucleophile. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can keep going. Are we sure that sulfur is going to be the leaving group? In this case, yes. Okay. So then that's the Mm hmm. Great job. What about the next one? What's that? Which one? Fluorine is the leading group. For this one, show me the oh, mechanism. Will it be a, um, right, a rainbow? Okay, so first of all, you are making a ring. Okay. What kind of ring? What's the name of the ring? Which is also lactam. I mean, it's, it's the partial causes down here, so then I would assume that happens, right? Remember, the mechanism is very similar to your West reaction. First acid base, then nucleophilic attack. Yeah. So you have your base, that little carbon chain with the negative. Oh, yeah. It's not like chemdrop. Okay. I mean, okay, then. Yeah, so then it's okay. So the other forms are double bonds. Doesn't it like reform it and then and then this ends? And does this come in here? But it's the O is that? No. 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 Okay, so that's not quite the mechanism. That's a completely different reaction. Um. Okay, so we know that we have to make the lactam, right? Now, first step was your acid base reaction. So go back to the left side. Okay, now, what do you see in the arrow? That carbon chain with a negative charge. Yeah. That's gonna act as your base. So and your acid, no, no, no. Oh. Your acid, it's gonna be the nitrogen. Why? Because you wanna deprotonate oh, it. There you go. Because remember, we need a nitrogen to do the nucleophilic attack. So then would the intermediate have that carbon chain? 
keep everything the same. Just take away one hydrogen and the nitrogen. That's it. Okay, NH, that's it. Keep everything the same. Okay, now we have the nucleophile ready. So nitrogen attacks your carbon with a delta positive, kick up the electrons, and eventually they go back down and you kick out the chlorine. You're missing one carbon there. And then where's the ethyl hanging from? There you go. Great job. That's oh, it. Walking through it again. So this the first acid base reaction. Why? Because we want to deperonate the nucleophile. Because remember, to make a lactame, some sort of nitrogen has to do the attack. So that's why we depronated. Now our nucleophile is ready. So same process as the other reactions that you did. We attack the partial positive in that carbon, kick up the electrons towards the oxygen. That's my intermediate. I have an sp3 carbon, but we know that we have to reform the double bond and kick out the leaving group that we don't want, the chlorine. So once we kick it out, that's how you form the, your cyclic. What kind of lactame is that? Alpha, beta, gamma. There you go. In this case, H, right? It's this one. The hydrogen is going to be your base. Because That's ionic bond. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then. Well, exactly. No, it is a base. We take away that hydrogen. And then this. Eventually, yes. So this little, I forget what this was, this like ether. The ether looking thingy, yeah. What about it? It gets kicked off as the, so then. It's okay, count it. Take your time. We have one extra carbon in there. It's going to look like a house. Okay. Now, where's your ester? There you go. That's it. What's the name of that molecule? Just a cyclic ester. Gamma lactone. That's it. What about the next one? I'm like pausing this thing. If y'all like do the practice. I mean, it's okay. You're going to be more than ready for the exam. So. 
Do you guys agree with the product? So look at the previous two reactions that you did. So after the acid base reaction, yeah. let's talk about that. Now, after the acid base reaction, we do the nucleophilic attack, right? Yeah. We get connected there. And then we have to reform the double bond, but something has to get out. Carbons, are they going to be leaving groups? Not really. Not really. So we're not able to do this reaction at all. Oh, is this a no reaction? That, oh. one's, that one's no reaction just because of that. Right, the other one's had it. Exactly. And then what about the last two? Yep. yep, that's the end. Looks like a ring. Mm -hmm. right. We're going to open up the ring. The little lactone that you have. Do you have an acid or a base? The electrophile more electrophilic because we have an acid. You get the hydrogen. The positive is on the, on the oxygen. There you go. Now you can do your normal nucleophilic attack. Backwards, yeah. That oxygen takes the hydrogen from the acid. That's how it gets protonated. Electrons and nitrogen. They attack my carbonyl. Oh, okay. That oak gets protonated as well. Eventually, yes. Okay, nitrogen. Okay, add a little hydrogen to that nitrogen. There you go. There you go, that's it. Great job, you got it. And then what about the very last one?
The only portion of the mechanism that you should know is the role of acids and bases for chapter 16 and 17. And the answer is the same for both chapters. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You got it. And great job. That's it. You're just missing one little carbon. There you go. Great job. Juan. So that was the very end of chapter 17. Second, so please start studying now <laughs> for the exam. Always. You have I, I, I a week, a little less than a week at this point. And I'll send an email later on today or tomorrow with the actual like, exam, exam review information. 